All right, well, we are at Oxford Market Antiques. Today, we are going to hustle because it is 4.45, and I believe they close at 6. So we don't have a whole lot of time. We've got Michael here with us today, the cult of vintage, and we've got Dagny. Um, they're already hustling inside because it's raining, so there's no, like, happy, like, dancing or anything like that. Um, but let's head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Of course, I spotted this first, and you can just see that vibrant silver and gold decorating there on the front. Um, it's marked hand-painted Picard, and I am obsessed with Picard decorated china um, and it usually has that stamp right there picard was renowned for how they decorated china that's what they did they decorated the china um, they decorated limoges and they decorated napon but it was their decorating um, that gets it that stamp for hand painted picard and it was amazing this was the second piece I noticed, and it is marked there on the bottom, Steuben. It is a clear glass, and I don't often pick up the clear glass because it's very hard to photograph. It's just very tricky to photograph, and um, even though it's a nice piece, I have a hard time photographing it. This, however, was amazing. It was $14, and this is Murano. Um, it is peach, and you can see that adventuring and that gold flake there on the inside, it's a beautiful piece. I was kind of debating whether to put the Steuben back and grab the peach, but inevitably I thought, you know, you poor piece of Steuben, I'll buy you as well. I'll buy both of you. I'll buy the Murano, which I love, and I will buy the Steuben because you should not be forgotten. And this piece here was marked there on the bottom. It was not a name I was familiar with, and so I kind of went a little back and forth on that. Hopefully I don't regret it. Hopefully it's, it's not a moment of regret, um, but I did set that one back there, Rachel Radar, 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 um, but I put it back. And I noticed this opalette, opaline striped vase in the back, so I had to strategically move this crackle glass vase out of the way to reach this opaline striped vase. I was checking the bottom to see if there were any signatures or any indications of where it was made. There was nothing there on the bottom and so inevitably I ended up setting this back. It was $18. It was very um, oversized. I'm trying to avoid oversized items at the moment um, just because we're working through a glitch with eBay where Items are reflecting high on shipping in our eBay shop, but I, I set that back. I also noticed this, and this was a reindeer for $16. Um, I purchased this later to find out it was a Nesco. This is an Nesco reindeer. It was still pretty cool, though. And here we have a giant vase. This was a very large vase. It was not a swung glass vase, however, so that was why I didn't buy it because I'm obsessed with swung glass vases and not just regular large vases. Here we have a persimmon glass bowl, and I know that Michael loves persimmon, and so I brought this to him and I said, look at this. Isn't this amazing? Do you want it for one of your live sales? Um, he felt that the price point just wasn't there for his live sale so he passed on it but I wanted to show him because I'm like it's persimmon you love persimmon look at it um <laughs> but it was really cool I ended up going and putting it back um so if you're in the area and you're looking for some persimmon glass it's there for you right there where I said it maybe it might be gone by now um but then I decided to look through some of the other shelves I loved that candlestick there. That kind of caught my eye. There was just, there's always just so much to see. And I have a hard time focusing because there's just so much to take in. It's a lot to take in. Sensory overload, I guess you could call it. Now Michael noticed these really amazing crystals and also this freeform shape art glass he liked that um but the crystals he was saying that he'd watched a movie where they'd hung all these crystals in the window and it just made this beautiful rainbow and um i feel like that would be a good use for those crystals there was a bird a nice little art pottery bird marked mb on the bottom and it was nine dollars i couldn't say no to the bird it was a nice little bird 
this weirdo cat up here. $12 weirdo cat. Ooh, look at that ceramic kitty. Oh my gosh, there's so much neat stuff here. Owl for twenty nine. Ooh, look at that horse. Look at that sign. It's kind of a weird shape. I don't know. Only twelve dollars. I think I'll take that. Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. <laughs> Syndicast. Love it. Super cute. That's interesting. What is this? Pennsylvania Railroad. Oh, that's so cool. Andrew would love this. What in the world? $24? I'm getting this for Andrew. Pennsylvania Railroad. That's interesting. I like it. So much here since the last time we were here. It's like kind of overwhelming. I'm like, I don't even know. I can't see it all. Let's play. Okay. Does it glow? Okay. Does it glow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did I just lose? You lost that one. No. Oh. Okay, what about this? I'm one? really bad at this game. Ooh. You win. The glowy, and I think that glows. It does. These are neat. Yeah. Oh look, I missed this the first time through. What does that say? Kindle? Kindle? Kidwell? Kidnell? Kidnell. Kindle. Kindle? It's a Kindle. It's a Kindle plate. It's cute. It is cute. They had a lot of clear figurines over here, I noticed. Mm. One thing I learned from the last time I was here that you really gotta get down low and look in the back because it's that's what like <laughs> That's where I found that really it's neat like figure. Yeah. Oh, look, I missed that. See? Oh, look. Oh, are you going to take that yeah. for me? Thank you. This down here is really cool. Look at this. See, right as I was saying, you got to get down low. Found a fish plate for 16, but that's like a really cool fish plate. Limoges? Ah, yes, we called it. It is Limoges. What kind of fish is that? That's like a weirdo big mouth fish. I think it's the scientific body. That is the scientific. <laughs> That's exactly. I'm, I think those are keywords we should use in the listing. Weirdo big mouse fish. These are nice. Ooh, those look like they want to jump. Hand painted Nippon. This is the Loch Ness Monster. Is it? Yes, it goes like that. My aunt has had that when I was little. Oh, that's really cute. Mm -hmm. I've been there. No big deal. Who makes it? How old know. is it? It's something that it you It looks get. really cool. It's something you would get at Loch Ness. As really? Like a, as like a souvenir. I've been to Loch Ness. Have you? Yes, I did not see the monster though. Oh, neither did I. It was really disappointing. Oh, that's really cute. I came all this way and it's I didn't even lot. see it. Six dollars. That's very specific though. I think I'm gonna buy these. Five pieces for twelve. You're gonna do it? I'm doing it. Yes. I'm bringing Nessie with and then I'm gonna show it to Jenny because she did a report on him this year. Oh, that's fantastic. Definitely, it's a perfect shape. It gets my vote. All right. I love these. Every time I come in here and I look at these, I'm like, I really feet. like these. Oh, they do have a bunch of them. Uh... Oh, I didn't see this. Maybe we looked at this the last time. It's got a dragonfly on it. The marking looks familiar. Because it's like a... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know I've had something like that before. Yeah. And this little birdie's beak needs to be filed a little bit. He's like the birdie out front. He look, he's got missing part of his tree. Mm -hmm. He's a little sad, but he's only a few bucks. Put a little plant in there. Put, yeah, put a little succulent in there. Are my hands? I am the hands. This is um, chartreuse. It is chartreuse. I love the color of it, and it is signed. Squiggle. It's a squiggle. Schmash you were big stupid. Um, and it's eight dollars. Yes. 
But I, I like love it. that color with the contrast mm -hmm. of that Raku charring. It's amazing. It gets my vote. Okay. Does it get your vote? It gets my vote. He is really interesting, isn't he? He doesn't strike me as necessarily being Ramu. He's kind of weird looking. Oh, he makes me nervous. Is he light or heavy? Um, he's like kind of heavy. That's different. It is different. It's really deep. Isn't that lamp work? Is that called lamp work? Oh, I don't know. When they don't blow it, but they melt it and whip with the glass. Maybe. $29. Oh my god. Look how big it is. <laughs> it's paper mache. It's like, it's like paper mache. Oh my gosh. It's delightful. I love the color. But you know, I can't list oversized items <laughs> right now. Big. That's so cool. I'm a little tempted. Look at this one. Is that a chip or is that a manufacturer? I can't tell. It looks That's like a manufacturer. Yeah. That's neat. I like the color. I really like that. Six dollars. You're not going to take the paper mache cat. No. You're just going to point him out and bail. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take him. And I'll also take this beautiful piece. Do you want this? Yeah. I remember when I sent you that picture about bud vase. I had a bud vase like that. Yeah. Oh, it's so scary showing it. Luckily, it went to Virginia. I love it. What, why am I buying so much pottery? I don't know. I think I'm broken. Where's the glass? Look. I like that. That's cute. I like that. Okay, you buy the $30 cat and I'll buy the $6 schminky schminky. Okay, all right. Deal. Oh, look at the wiener dog. Oh, he's only 16. Oh, he's, oh, he's delightful. Oh, he's so cute. I've seen him before. I can't Have remember you? who makes him. Who makes you? Can you see his bottom? Oh, Is he Hager? Okay. I would help you, but my hands are full too. I also like that fish. I feel like I need that fish. I'm gonna grab the fish. That's a neat looking fish. I'm gonna grab the fish. I'm gonna turn off the camera and grab the fish. In case I don't. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. What is this? This is weird and I like it at the same time. What do you I like his hat. It's, he's like Bolivian. He's great. I wonder if he's supposed to be holding something. I don't know. I like him. I think I'm going to buy him. <laughs> Look at the little kitty. Oh, he's so All right. Look at that little kitty. I don't think it's very old, though. No, I don't think so. What about this artwork? I can't be an original, right? There's no way. It's cool though. I like it, but it's not an original. Oh, look at the doves. Are they Portuguese or Italian? Italian doves. Got a couple chippies there. What is this? I love that scenery. A Bates. How much? Twelve dollars? I think today is the day of pottery. Wow, check out this purse. It's a saddle purse. Need to look like a saddle. It's got a boo-boo here though. That's unfortunate. Did you see this? Oh, it's a, it really is a saddle it purse. It is a saddle purse. It like is made to look like a saddle purse. Where's the boo-boo? This um, oh, darn. thing is broken. It looks like it had been glued once already. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. It's is it worth it? Can that be fixed? I was, when you said that, I, was, I didn't look. I was picturing it like a saddle. I mean, that's a really cool purse. I feel like maybe that can be fixed. I might grab that. That might be my wild card for the day. It's a nice one. It's cute. I have a Tanella plate in the car. 
This is a nice face though. Look at it. Nine dollars. It's signed. Something something. Max, but then it has a name on it. Max. That's a nice face. I like the glazing on it. Is this is this it? Is this the piece? No, you're gonna pass it out. I'm gonna pass it out. What are you finding? Neat things. I have gone through here before. You got something like this. Like yes. a ladder. I guess I did. It was like a train. I remember that. What is this thing? Mm, look at this mug. It looks Italian. Holding a bird, maybe. Her bird is missing. Now I noticed this piece down below, and it was a bowl. It was mailing, mauling. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. It was six bucks. I've seen these have a pretty decent resale value in the past. Um, I don't believe that specific piece had a high resale value. Uh, we've got a very nice matte green vase by Rumreel. I don't know what it is about this matte green, but it seems to be really popular right now. And so I had to take a close look at that just to check it out. It was only $16, but again, oversized. I'm steering clear of the oversized until eBay can get the kinks worked out of my eBay store view on the mobile app. I'm not buying oversized. And if I am buying oversized, I'm listing it on my website for sale where they can calculate the shipping. So if you haven't been to my website, crazylamplady.com, that's where the oversized stuff is going. But we've got some plates here. The pattern was called Chinese and they looked really old. They looked to have some age to them, the way that they were colored. Um, they were $14 a piece, I suspect. And I just really wasn't sure about those, um, even though they had some age to them. Age is not always indicative of value. And so I was a little nervous about that. Um, the last thing I noticed here in the back was this bowl. Not this one. Although this one was nice. It was kind of a, um, a geisha wear bowl. Not this one either. It was the one underneath it. Um, this one looked, again, to have some age to it, just the way it was colored. I checked the bottom. You can see there's kind of a faded stamp and some discoloration, some crazing. It was a nice looking bowl, but I set it back. I've got some Gonder pottery for $14. I'm really not that experienced in Gonder pottery. I don't know it well enough to know if there's a resale value for it or not. And then we ventured on to the one for four dollars or two for seven shelves. These are some of the best shelves because there are some really great deals to be had. I noticed this pen and I was like, you know what? This is one for four or two for seven. And it's a really neat pen. I like it. I didn't test it out, but I liked it. And so I decided that I need to find two for seven because I want to get the most money possible out of this deal. And so I set off to find another item that I could bundle together to make it $7. It was not that. Or this. This was kind of cool, but I feel like that would have come in a set and we only had one. We've got a tin type photo here with two young men and they looked very dapper. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was a little worn. Now here we have a polar bear. And I wasn't sure if this polar bear was a Hagen Renneker piece. I didn't actually look it up, but he looked he looked decent. I decided to give him a shot. He had a chance to be my two for seven. Um, this also looked interesting. I loved the facial features on this. There was some damage, unfortunately. And 
I inevitably picked these two for my two for seven and I added them to my pile. You can see I have a pretty large pile, a very large pile. Inevitably, I ventured into the jewelry. This is always my last stop for some reason. I don't know why. But you can see here the jewelry. I picked through the jewelry the last time I was here and I didn't really see any new pieces since the last time I had visited. Um, I, I just didn't bought anything new but I ended up picking up this dish here for 12 it was marked on the back Evans but on this note I am going to end this video um, I didn't film an outro for this but our total spend was $430 I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you next time hi little birdie how are you oh my goodness hi can I touch you Oh, no, I can't touch you. But I love you. Come back. I love you too, my friend. Be my friend. We can be friends, right? It's like, no, go away. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description. 